before we dive in my name is gentle shadow and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to use bluetooth apps as the topic sounds experience real multitasking for all androids i'm going to split this topic into three segments the integrative part how to use it and how to download it let's go there What is the multitasking limit of this app? Floating apps comes with more than 41 floating app, which is browse, notes, Facebook, calculator, contacts, file manager, video player, music player, image viewer, audio recorder, translator, Google map. Floating apps also supported 27 languages. Within this table are this languages. I really want to get into how to use it quickly. What are the required permissions of this floating apps? There are two main important and required permissions. The grant access to storage, for storing data. Its simple term is to have access to save cache. To know more on how to clear cache watch till the end. The second important required permission. Is enable drawing over other apps to run floating feature without any problem. Which I will show how to grant the permissions. Now. How to use floating apps the name of the application is called floating apps there are four things which i'm going to show you how to grant the required permissions how to run more than one apps at the same time how to move precise and close windows how to set it here in how to set it i will show you every helpful feature you need to know about the application now let's go there in order to grant the floating apps required permission open the floating apps application now click on the next icon on the down column Here is where you will grant the required permission. In order to grant the required permission, there are two required permissions. Let's start from the first one. Click on the top one, which is grant now. Now click on allow. Here in the location section, Select the location, select the application, which type you the, the one you want, but for me I will click on allow only when the, using the app. Now click on allow. Here we have granted the first required permission. Now for the second required permission, which is enable draw over other apps. Now click on enable now. Now turn it on. Click on back navigation. Now click on this line or column to reach the end. As you can see, you have grant all the required permission. This uh, floating feature will come out after granting all required permission. Now click on close. Now how to run more than one apps. Click on the floating icon on this floating button. Now select the app you want to float. I'll use calculator for an example. Now for the next to, to run another app also, click on that floating button again. You see it? Click on the floating button again. Now I will use note for an example here. Click on it. Now, here is how to get this done. Hold the top section of the floated window in order to move it. Hold it firmly 
Hoodies family. Hoodies. Now. Drag it. Drag it up and down. You see it. You see it. That's how to move it. Now, how to resize it. Hold this line icon on the down of the floated window. Here are the down section of the floated window. Hold it. Now, push it to the any length weight you like. You see it. Now, to close the window. In order to close the window, click on this cancel icon on the side. On the side of the floated window, click on it. That's how. On the side here, click on it. How to set it? This application has many setting features, but I will base on the helpful part of it in order to make you guru and expert of this application. Now, to set this application, click on this tree line icon on the top side. Here is where you will set the application. I will show you first how to set up the floating icon. To set up the floating icon, click on this floating icon. Here is where you set up this floating icon here. This floating icon. Now to change the size, click on this size. This size. As you can see, the size is changing. You see to increase the size, move it forward. Now to change the opticalness, click on this down one. You see it. Now here is where you can change the color of each features you want each features the second one i will show you is how to add up favorite apps to add up favorite apps which is the app you need click on this favorite click on it now click on this box plus icon on the circle box icon on the downside now select the app which you want to add as the favorite you see it select it now to see this app on the favorite list click on this floating button now slide to reach favorite as you can see the app here but in order to activate this app, as you can see, you see what it brings out. In order to activate this app, you must enable the floating link if you are using the pro version. You must enable the floating link. That is what that is the difference between the free version and the pro version. The free version, you can't use any any other application except the application which has which is in this app. But in the pro version, which is the pay version, you will use any app which you want, the external app which you have. So in order to activate the app, in order to use the floating app, uh, your internal, which is external apps, click on the tree line icon on the top. Now click on settings. Here. Slide down you reach here you only see this thing if you are using the pro version so as i'm using the pro version now so turn it on now go back to the favorite app by clicking the floating button now slide to reach the favorite click on it you see it you see it you only use the external app if you are using the pro version that is the difference between the pro version and the free version so guys another thing i will show you guys is how to set up the floating button
to set up the floating button click on this floating button now benefit of using this floating button or setting this floating floating button is to make the app more flexible for you just see open the accessibility setting to grant the access now turn on the app by clicking on it and then switching it on now click on allow as you can see is on now go back by clicking back navigation hit the floating button accessibilities this one is for floating keyboard this one is for floating play playback if you want to instead of using the back navigation you use, you use this floating button to go back easily this one is for floating recent this one is for easy access so easy access to the minimize section like look at it see it how it work you see it easier access to the minimize section now to download this application the application name is called floating apps bracket multitaxing the free version is just free and the pro version cost five dollars so guys if you guys don't want to pay for the five dollars just subscribe or follow me and see i subscribe so i will give you the link to download the free bug mode version of it so guys subscribe click on the bell icon see you on the next video watch this video this video here watch it to know how to clear cache on our android phone so check how to tutorial videos best android trick you need to know and ultimate smartphone unboxing review because i believe i believe we all need to be the masters that wield our techs page we update you in every software event and feature technology so keep tight by subscribing and clicking the bell icon and if you are on facebook hit that follow icon and keep visiting my page for more